Hey guys, this is Pixel Dan coming to you from the 2016 New York Toy Fair, and I'm here at the Kotobukiya booth with my friend Dan to talk about all of the awesome new product on display. So how's the show going for you, Dan? Hey Dan, it's going great. It's nice to see you again. A brand new year, brand new product announcements, you know. Uh, it's been busy, so and a yeah. lot of people coming by, checking out the stuff that we have, so it's always a pleasure to be able to talk to fans and customers and just let them know what we got coming up. Absolutely. Well, it's always great seeing you guys here, and you always have some amazing product on display. So let's go and start with what we got here on display for your Marvel brand. Yeah, why don't we just jump on right in. So for our Avengers Age of Ultron license, we've got one more release coming up, and that's the Mark 45. And this is an artifact scale, and he has lights uh, in his palms, chest, and eyes. So uh, we've got one more statue coming out, because as you know, we did the 43, and then we had the 44, the Hulkbuster, and now we've got the 45. Yeah. yeah. And then um, for our Marvel Artifacts Plus line, we completed our Avengers set and now we're transitioning into X-Men. And we've got the whole team here actually. Um, uh, artwork done by artist Adi Gravnov and uh, Cyclops, Emma Frost and Magneto are available now at retailers. The white costume Magneto that you see here, that's a diamond distribution exclusive and I believe that's available now too. What's not in this case is a white costume Emma Frost. You can see that at Diamond's booth. They have it over there because that's going to be their exclusive also. I'm not sure when they'll be distributing that. You can contact them for more details on the release date for that piece. And then um, Beast will be shipping out, oh, let's jump back a little bit. Magic will be shipping out by the end of this month, uh, early March. And then Beast will be arriving around April, May. And then for the first time, we're showing the Paintmaster for Rogue. So that was unveiled uh, here at the, well, it was unveiled last week in photos, but we have it here at the show. And then for the first time ever, we're showing Wolverine. Oh, nice. So now that our X-Men Artifacts Plus series is complete, we'll be adding a brand new line, Spider-Man. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Um, we won't be working with Adi Grabnov on this, for the particular artwork for that line. We'll be working with Stefano Casali. He okay. actually did the artwork for Deadpool. So uh, another release that, uh, that was very popular for us, and we're actually uh, continuing to do reproductions on that. So we're going to have characters like Spider-Man, Spider-Gwen, Venom, Carnage, Agent Venom. There's going to be a lot of Spider-Man characters in this, in this uh, series. So I think the timing is perfect, Absolutely. too, with uh, Spider-Man's introduction uh, in the, the Civil War movie. Right. So uh, yeah, I, I, fans have been asking for it and we're happy to oblige. And all in the Artifacts Plus style, that'll fit right in with the X-Men and the Avengers. That is such exciting news. And we've got the same sculptor uh, on board, uh, Abisan from Japan, to do the sculpting. So, so the, all the lines will just fit together beautifully. Fantastic, I'm very much looking forward to those. Yeah. So for our Marvel Bishoujo series, and again, Bishoujo roughly means pretty girl, beautiful woman in Japanese, uh, we've got Lady Deadpool, who's uh, arriving now at retailers. I believe, did you do a review I of did? her? Yep. Yeah, yep. great. What did you think of her? I love it. Yeah. I think she's gorgeous. I love all the interchangeable parts on there, so lots of great ways to display her. The masthead yeah. is my personal favorite, yeah. but I love the options that you have on yeah. there. And that's the same thing that we'll be doing with our newest announcement, Spider-Gwen. We'll be including two different portraits so you can display her with her mask on, or as you see here, with her mask off. And just as a side note, that's not the final base. We're working on the base. I'm not sure if it'll be a sculpted base, but we're, we're going to do something to make to bring the whole package together. Okay, yeah. great. And then a brand new uh, announcement. We just unveiled the artwork late last week. We'll be adding Thor and Loki to the Peshojo line. Oh, nice. Yeah. And what's cool about these two pieces, as you can see from the artwork, is when you get both of them, you'll be able to place them together to create the scene that you see there. Oh, that's great. So they kind of have like interconnecting bases, yeah. basically. Yeah. And then for our Marvel Fine Art statue line, Fine Art uh, made of resin, uh, limited edition, each one is individually numbered. We've got two uh, uh, announcements here. Well, first one is just kind of an update. This is Black Panther. Yep. Uh, this is actually a production piece that you're seeing here. Uh, the edition, side, edition size will be 3,000 pieces uh, worldwide. And then a brand new announcement uh, or update uh, I think I did a presentation at New York Comic Con and I, slowed, I showed an unpainted uh, uh, image of Thanos, yeah, Thanos, but this is the fully uh, completed paint master nice. for Thanos. Um, he will come with two different portraits too, so you can display him as you see here, or he'll have a head that's slightly smiling, you know, with, with a confident schmirk kind of going on there. Very cool. Yeah, so uh, look forward to more information on, on release date and uh, pricing on Thanos. Excellent. So a lot of great things going on with Marvel here, um, but it looks like we've also got some really exciting stuff for Star Wars in this case. Oh yeah, you know, 
uh, we, we, we started our Star Wars Force Awakens line uh, with, with the First Order Stormtroopers, and we've been building on that uh, from, from uh, Captain Phasma to uh, now Kylo Ren. So uh, we've got a really nice, solid collection here, and uh, we're going to be expanding that even more. Uh, the First Order Stormtrooper 2-pack is available now. And then we have, uh, after that, will be Captain Phasma. She'll be shipping out uh, in March, April of this uh, year. Um, and that's the final piece that you see there. That's a production piece. So. She's gorgeous. I yeah. mean, just seeing the chromed armor, that's exactly what I've been wanting to see on a yeah. Captain Phasma. And it just turned out so gorgeous. Yeah, we're, and, and it's just amazing how our, our factor was able to add the weathering to it, too. So it looks like she's been through a few battles. Um, then after Phasma, we've got our First Order Stormtrooper single pack. So you'll get one Stormtrooper plus three different pauldrons that you can put uh, on his shoulder. And those pauldrons are interchangeable with the two packs. So uh, if you want a more action-looking pose, you can go ahead and place the extra pauldrons on your two pack. So oh, that's really great. Yeah. Very cool. After the single pack, we've got a droid three pack coming out. So that's R2-D2, C-3PO, and BB-8. BB-8 has a magnet embedded in the bottom of the spear. So if you slightly... Uh, if, if you, you can rock it back and forth gently, you can even twirl it in place, and the head actually go, can move around. Oh, that's really great. Yeah. And he is like a full sphere still, all the way yes, around. He's yes, got the magnet there's inside. No, there's no uh, flat edges on, on oh, BB-8. That's really so it's cool. really, it's kind of fun to play around with yeah, that. Absolutely. And then finally, Kylo Ren. Um, this, I believe, is still the paint master. Uh, he'll come with different parts, so you can display him with the hood up as you see here, or hood down. Plus, he comes with multiple arms, so you can do a, di a variety of different lightsaber poses. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Very exciting stuff. I'm really looking forward to all of these. Kylo Ren looks fantastic. Uh, 3PO is great. I love how he's got like a shine, but he still looks weathered. Really yeah. cool. BB-8, of course, is awesome, but Phasma, that's who I'm really excited about. I love the Phasma. And we have plans to expand not only Artifacts Plus, but Artifacts. And I know we've been getting a lot of requests to offer Star Wars characters in that, that larger format mm -hmm. that we started with. And I'm happy to say that's going to continue. So probably around San Diego Comic-Con time, we'll be making a lot of announcements as to what new characters will be added to Artifacts and Artifacts Plus. Great. Well, maybe we'll get to see some of the great new heroes like Rey and stuff like that. It would be awesome to see. Definitely. Uh, all those characters are under consideration, plus uh, from the original trilogy. So yeah. Yoda, Obi-Wan, oh, nice. uh, uh, premium format type Darth Vader in Artifacts scale with sounds and lights. That, yeah. That's all on the table. So it's real exciting. Oh, very exciting. A lot of cool things happening with Star Wars, it sounds. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so uh, a little while ago we announced that we had the Alien license, and now we've actually got some uh, product to show everyone. First up will be our Alien Warrior from the movie Aliens. Uh, this piece actually has a bendable tail, and there's a movement in the shoulder area. And the three, uh, the two feet and the one hand that actually touch the ground, those have magnets uh, embedded there. And what's cool is this base, you can configure it, configure that to your liking, and then you just plug in a little metal piece, and that's how you can uh, uh, pose the actual alien. Oh, so magnets. Yeah, okay. so, if, so if you configure this to almost like a, like a square, you could have them actually displayed on top, like on the ceiling, as though you were climbing through a ventilation shaft. Yeah. So a lot of flexibility with, with how you display this particular piece. So around April, uh, May, we expect to release our alien minifigures and this is just a fun uh, different little product that we're offering for this line uh, you get two alien figures per package and uh, it's a blind uh, like a blind assortment so you're not sure what you're gonna get and uh, they come in a variety of different poses fun poses like yoga and daydreaming and you can just put those around your desk or work area it's a great conversation starter yeah I mean the poses are so fun on that you got we're like yoga poses yeah. and like laying down the hanging ones those are really fun yeah well, just you know like we did the little Gotham figures yeah. you know things like that and, and I love that's what I love about this company is that we're, we're doing you know our standard artifacts and artifacts plus but we also do those side projects too right. and uh, it's, it's always interesting to see what our development teams come up with um, then next up will be the big chap uh, artifacts plus uh, we uh, showed the photos late last week but this is the paint master here at the show and um, I just just looking at this piece the detail is incredible yeah. and you got to keep in mind back in when the original alien movie came out there was no 3d data you know so this uh, we had to reference uh, photos and and archives of that nature to create this sculpt, which I think just came out in a tremendous, yeah, you know, it tremendous. Looks fantastic. Sculpt. Yeah. I love like the semi-translucent dome yeah. on the top of his head. Everything there looks if good. If you look carefully, you can see that he actually has his second mouth within his mouth. 
through, through the side of, of like his cheek area. You can see it in there. So it's just those type of details that really make this a standout piece. Um, and then that's expected third quarter of this year. And then finally, we'll be releasing the dog alien from Alien 3. Yeah. And uh, expect uh, more updates on that in the coming months. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. And then for our Bishojo line, we also have video game licenses like Street Fighter and Tekken. Uh, Poison is available now. Lucky Chloe will be shipping out uh, in the summer around July. And then we have Tali Zora from Mass Effect. Uh, she'll be out uh, later this month, early March. Okay. And then the gray one that you see there, that's the Bioware Store exclusive. So we're expecting that to arrive sometime around April or May. Okay. And I believe the pre-orders are still open for that on their site. Okay. And then we're adding some new licenses and new characters to the Bashojo line, including Kill Bill. So we've got the bride coming up from that. Edward Scissorhands, and she's being put into our horror line. Okay. And then we've got Chucky and Tiffany wow. from Child's, uh, Child's Play. Yeah. And what's cool about Chucky is that we'll be including a different portrait with her too. So you'll get two different portraits. You'll get the one that you see here, and then you'll get one where it has some like type of battle damage. Uh -huh. I believe in the film, he uh, uh, his face needs to be stapled up, and right. it, he's just looking really crazy and angry. So we'll include that too, and I think that will really speak to those horror fans that may think that this is just a little too cute for their collection. Right. Once you put that alternate portrait on, I think they're going to be very happy. Well, that's really cool. Yeah. yeah. I always like seeing the different things you guys do with the Bishujo line, too, and yeah. introducing these new licenses. So that's a lot of fun stuff. And we have plans to continue the horror line with more characters. So, you know, in, in the coming months, when those announcements can be made, I think fans are going to be really surprised, just like they were when we announced Chucky and Tiffany. Excellent. Very, very cool. So for the upcoming Batman versus Superman film, we've got two statues, Artifacts Plus Scale. We've got Batman in his armor and Superman. And as you can see here, they can be placed together to form the scene that we have in the case. Cool. Yeah, kind of like our Hulkbuster and Hulk set. Um, and just as a side note, uh, to make the April uh, release date, there's only a certain number that we can actually produce. So it's one of those items that if you haven't gotten your pre-order in, I would probably do it sooner than later because six to eight months down the line, I'm not sure if these pieces will be available because we have no plans to offer any reproductions either. Okay, that's good yeah. So it's just one of those things where it's going to be a one-shot deal and uh, we're, we're making a good number for, for all our clients, but I have a feeling this one's going to go pretty fast. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Good to know. And then as we uh, mentioned a, a while ago, we were going to be expanding our Artifacts Plus DC line to include villains. Yes. So yes. the first up is Lex Luthor. Um, he's available now at retailers or arriving soon. And then we're showing for the first time our Joker. Nice. So um, he has a knife in the front. He's holding a gun in the back. And um, after Joker, we have plans to release Sinestro and possibly even uh, Bizarro. Oh, very yeah. cool. So some really cool uh, characters that we'll be adding to the line, hopefully, in the coming months. I love the villains. I mean, like, you know, we got the great Justice League setup that's come out and several other characters there. So getting villains to add to that display is perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And hopefully, uh, you know, we'll continue that trend with, with not just the villains, but maybe adding some characters that, that like Martian Manhunter and things like that, that people have been asking for. Absolutely. Yeah. So for our Halo license, we have a series of Artifacts Plus statues. I believe you've reviewed a few of these. I have, yes. Yeah. yes. And so, as you know, there's a, a good amount of articulation on the upper half of these statues. A ball joint in the neck, the arms and elbows move. Um, all of these that you see here, with the exception of the Spartan Athlon, are available now. Uh, Spartan Athlon will be arriving at retailers around April or May. And as a, as a special bonus, um, with the Spartan Athlon, you'll receive a rec code. And a rec code is one of those, uh, like a DLC, downloadable content for the Halo 5 multiplayer. So if you actually are playing Halo 5 multiplayer, you can use that code to download a special piece of equipment, an armor, or maybe a power-up of some type. Yeah. So those codes will actually be included uh, in the box when you purchase the Spartan Athlon. Oh, okay. And we have plans to keep the Halo line going strong. Um, we've got a lot of neat things uh, on schedule for Halo. I can't make those announcements right now, but we may actually change the format of what we're doing here. So maybe we'll move into something else a little more sculpted like we saw with the Batman uh, versus Superman piece okay. where we can 
create teams and, and, and have them interact with one another through the basis. So just one of the things we have on our table. Great. Yeah. Sounds awesome. And then the Superpowers Collection, all of these are out now. And as we had, uh, announced last year, actually, we have plans to add three more characters. Awesome. Uh, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, and Hawkman. Nice. So those are still on schedule and they'll be happening. And I think, you know, once people actually were able to get their hands on these pieces, again, these are based off of the classic 80s Kenner action figures. Um, you know, once you get your hands on these and get them in your collection, you know, I think it's a really nice uh, special throwback, uh, yeah. you know, to, to those retro figures. And then our always popular DC Artifacts line, based off of the artwork of Jim Lee. Uh, all of the pieces that you see here are available at retail now, and I'm happy to announce that we will be adding a new character to this line, and it will be done by the same sculptor that sculpted all four of these pieces. Nice. So look for that announcement uh, in, in the coming months. Okay, very cool. And then for our DC Bashojo line, uh, our brand new unveiling, which took place at Wonderfest, uh, w which was last week in Japan, uh, but we've got the paint master here is Harley Quinn version 2. This is based off of her new 52 uh, outfit. And again, just like Spider-Gwen, that's not the final base. Uh, we'll update our, our customers and fans um, once we know what that will look like. Um, you can expect her to arrive around the third quarter of this year. Okay, and then a brand new announcement for this show is Wonder Girl. So uh, we just unveiled the artwork late last week. And here she is. And we're still working out her availability. So maybe late this year early next year we're not sure at this point okay, great. and then for the Arkham um, Knight video game we've got two releases here we've got the Arkham Knight and Batman and as you may know those include a module base type system so you can kind of build up your base to your liking and um, you know once you get past that slight learning curve I think it's a lot of fun you yeah, know absolutely. working with those and um, coming up with your own basis so both of these are available now and then finally for our uh, Batman Artifacts Plus Bat Family series, Red Hood is available now at retailers. And then arriving probably by the end of this month, early next month, is going to be Red Robin. Awesome. And we definitely have plans to keep that line going strong too with more uh, entries. So look for that, uh, those announcements in the coming months. Excellent. So you guys have a ton of great new things going on here. DC, Halo, Marvel, Star Wars, so many great properties, a lot of great product. Dan, thank you so much for once again taking the time to walk us through all of this new stuff. Thank you for coming by and uh, sharing our booth with your viewers. And as always, if you want to find out more information about our products, you can visit our website at kotous.com or uh, visit us on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash kotobukiya. Awesome. Great. Thank you, Dan, very much. And there you guys go. A look at what's on display here at the Kotobukiya booth at the 2016 New York Toy Fair. Stay up to date with Pixel Dan at Toy Fair 2016. Follow at Pixel Dan on Twitter or forward slash Mandalorian30 on YouTube.com. Thanks for tuning in to your premier source for all things toys, Pixel Dan. See you again.